It's Monday morning, August the 8th, 2022, and it's a pleasure to be able to share some principles with you from the Word of God today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I want to thank you for tuning in today and listening as we just consider for a few moments a verse of scripture for our morning devotions on this Monday morning. Chapter 26 of Proverbs, verse 26, is the verse that we're going to consider this morning. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 26, says, Whose hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness shall shall be showed before the whole congregation. And this description is continuing of the person who is vile in his thought life, and he says things that are not true, and he says things that are hateful, and and inaccurate the bible says there he he that um excuse me he whose hatred is covered by deceit his wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation and it's not uncommon for someone to misrepresent truth in fact you'll see this happen over and over again where people will say they're speaking truth but they're obviously not speaking truth And this is especially true when it comes to God's words, because God is so often misrepresented in our world today. And there again in verse 26, the Bible speaks of the person whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness will be showed before the whole congregation. I think about a verse like Numbers 23 or 32, 23, Numbers chapter 32, verse 23, that says, be sure your sin will find you out. And sin will be discovered, and it will actually manifest itself. Sin always seems to come to the surface at some point and betrays the person who wanted to keep it hidden, who wanted to keep it secret, who wanted to keep it covered. He's unable to do so. Sin will always find you out. And friend, no matter how hard you may try to cover it up, it will always be known one day. And the shame and the condemnation and the burden of it will follow you it's far better just to submit to the Lord. The Bible says the the blessing of the Lord it maketh rich and he addeth no he addeth no sorrow with it. God doesn't bring sorrow along with the blessings that he provides because they're real blessings and they're based on truth and reality. You know, it seemed so positive and so good that Adam and Eve would eat of this forbidden fruit, but as soon as they ate of that fruit They were ashamed of themselves, and their sin became known. It's it's always true. There's a way that, that the Bible says sin will always go, and it is to expose itself. It is to bring shame and destructiveness, and it's far better just to submit to the Lord and let him have his way in your life and be obedient to him and mortify the deeds of the flesh, as the Bible says. Put to death that old man and just submit to Christ. You know, each one of us, even though our sin nature will always be with us, even those who are truly saved, our sin nature will always be there. We can and have the freedom to make right choices. I love Romans chapter 6 that talks about you don't have to live that way. You've been made free from sin and now you yield one way or the other. Just be aware of the advisability of yielding to God and the inadvisability of yielding to the flesh. It will always bring shame and destruction and destructiveness to the life. Just follow Christ. Just determine, make the right choices. Determine you're going to do the right thing. God bless you.